Hello everyone, it's Phil here. Welcome to another tweak guide. GOG has launched Quake and I'm really excited about this release. I've been waiting for uh, a way to get my hands on a full Quake version with the CD audio tracks for quite some time. Prices on eBay are not cheap and here it is. So I bought it straight away and it's a really good release. It's got the CD images in the bin and queue format that means uncompressed audio cd however there's a, a a little technicality with the quake cd to get the music sounding properly and we're gonna cover that as well there are lots of ways of playing quake on modern machines gg decided to go with gl quake dos box and also nglide not the best way in my opinion of prefer using modern engines there are a lot of engines out there i'm just going with uh, quake spasm because i've seen a lot of people use it and it keeps being mentioned i tried it it worked really well for me so i'm using quake spasm i put all the downloads and all the uh, text files that i'm using in this video there's a batch file i'm using down below in the description so you don't have to hunt around uh, too long the first thing you need to do is install your quake from the gog downloader after you've done that grab quake spasm and extract it into the gg games slash quake folder the game should now work you might have to change the resolution i set mine to 1920 by 1080p and i also turned on vsync and adjusted a couple of the keys so that the strafing works with the a and the d if you want to play the two mission packs so the first one is Scourge of Armagon and the second one is Dissolution of Eternity. You press the tiled key to get the console down and then you type in Game Space, uh, game space Hypnotic for the first mission pack. Or Game Space Rogue for the second mission pack. And then just press enter and the game switches between the mission packs or the full game. The biggest challenge is getting the music going. Luckily, we are dealing with bin and Q CD images, which have the CD audio tracks in raw format. What I did, I'm using Daemon Tools, which is a virtual CD drive emulator, and you can easily just mount the CD images by dragging the Q files onto the virtual disk drive. extract the audio files i'm using windows media player it's got a really easy feature to extract the audio files i'm choosing to go with the wave format because i wanted to keep the raw and lossless quality the quake cd is quite special it uses something called pre-emphasis. It basically means that if you don't de-emphasize the audio files, they will sound especially bright, harsh, and very metallic. And I've got a sound demonstration here, so I'm just gonna play that. So what we need to do is to de-emphasize the Quake audio tracks. And this only applies to the Quake CD. The mission packs, we don't have to do any de-emphasizing. The tool we're using to de-emphasize the Quake WAV files is called Sound Exchange. It's a command line utility, so it's not the easiest to use. However, all you need to do is put the Sound Exchange files into the same folder as the extracted Quake WAV files and then create a batch file and you can just copy paste the contents of that batch file from the description below and when you run that it will just uh, de-emphasize all the files it will also rename them so it saves you um, a step because what you need to do is the sound files the first wave file the first cd audio track needs to be named as track 02 and then the next one track 03 track 04 and so on the Quake CD has 10 audio tracks going from track 02 to track 11. The first mission CD has eight 
CD tracks going from track 02 to track 09. And the second mission pack also has eight audio CD tracks going from track 08 to, oh, sorry, from track 02 to track 09. Once you've got all your WAV files ready to go, they need to go in certain directories in the game folder. For Quake, they need to go in the it folder. And in the it folder, create a music folder and then put the WAV files in there. For the first mission pack, go back to the Quake folder, find the Hypnotic folder, go into that folder, also create a music folder, and then put the WAV files into that folder. And for the last mission pack, go back to the Quake folder, go into the Rogue folder, create a subdirectory music, and put the WAV files in there. And then, the game should be fully functioning with all the music in the main game, but also in the two mission packs. And that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to make sure that you get all my latest videos, please subscribe. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. And if you've got any questions, just leave them down below. Thank <laughs> you.